I usually refer to it as the y equals x squared graph. That's the one we just did. It's an upward opening parabola. So that's usually referred to as y equals x squared. That's what the function would be. In order to linearize that, we're going to square the x values. And that's going to give us a graph of y versus x squared. That's linear. Okay, so what's another one we might, have, we might run across? <coughs> another common curve graph. Y equals one over x. Clean with the cart, we'll, we'll bring them in once we're done talking. I'll let's see that cart. Oh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, so we can have y equals one over x. That looks like, uh, like a skateboard ramp, if you will. Called the inverse function of y equals 1 over x. And to linearize that, we're just going to inverse the x values. And that is then going to give us a graph that would be linear, uh, probably coming down though, of y versus 1 over x. Like that would be the second one we might have to deal with. So you do the same process, but instead of squaring the x, you do the 1 over x with the other column, and you re-graph it as 1 over x over there. <laughs> I was just going to hide there for a second. And what would the third one be, do you think? The third curve we would see quite often? It's very similar to the first one. Y square root of x, the square root graph, very good. So we have this, we have a nice little square root thing going on, like that. And then how do you think we're going to fix that one, do you think? Now remember we hate square roots, <coughs> we're going to square the y. So to fix that one, we're going to square the y values. Again, mathematically, it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to square the y's, not the fours, but the y's, maybe. And that's going to give us a graph then of y squared x. We go like that probably. Those are the three you should know how to handle. And they're basically just, if you know the equation for those three graphs, like this one we said would be y equals root x, or I think there's y squared equals x. If you know those three equations, you pretty much know how to fix it. Okay. I'll try to build with confidence. <laughs> Questions about that? All right, last step. We're doing all this. What, what was the point of all this? Why are we bothering with all this nonsense? We get an equation for a line. Fantastic. So let's talk about how we're actually going to do that process. Let's go back to our, uh, the simplest one is our y equals x squared shape. Now we're going to make it an actual graph x and t. This can be a little confusing because the x variable, which stands for what? Position. Is on which axis? Y. So I'm going to try to be very clear in my speech. If you're confused when I say x or y, just ask the x variable is on the y axis and the t is on the x axis. So we need to. <laughs> so we need to. We need to linearize that. How are we going to make that graph linear? Square the t's. Fantastic. So I'm going to square the t's. That might give me a shape, hopefully going to be a shape of something like this, which would be an x versus t squared. Again, these are showing the same data. They're not graphing x versus t over x versus t squared. So they're different <laughs> look, but it's the same relationship. Now we need to make our equation. Our general there's some trust my my more smart words. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can easily just run on the chalkboard. How boring is that? Yeah. Hate chalk. Hate chalk. It's not about hate chalk more than square roots. It's not about the flash cups or the comfort but the substance. But if you have both, is that better? You or <laughs> other you or other people. I don't know. <laughs> Probably me. Anyways, so this is my general line. 
Nice tie. Like well, I'm, wearing the, <laughs> I'm glad to see you're wearing the tie this week, because next week this time you won't want to feel like wearing the tie. Ooh. I don't just wear it on my team because I lose once. Mm. Do you think I have a turncoat? Yeah. Fail, fail over teacher. Are you people that love Brett Favre? Now you hate him. What's that about? I love Brett Favre. Yeah, sure you do. Wants the whole thing? Okay. Yeah, Anyways. <laughs> so, let's make up a number. Let's say our slope here is uh, 2.65. What would the units of that slope be, you think, if this is in meters and this is in seconds squared? Meters per second squared. Very good. Do you guys slow? Make a y intercept up of uh, 0.67 meters. <coughs> so let's make an equation. So to start, I can say y equals 2.65 meters per second squared. T, or sorry, x, let's go there. Okay. Gonna do one step at a time there. Oh, thanks. I do what I can. T flash and stuff. <laughs> x plus 0.6, what did I say, 67 meters. Okay, everyone see how I got that? That's what we did before. Now we have to put our fancy variables in. What's going to go in place of the y? So x equals 2.65 meters per second squared. What's going to go in place of the x, do you think? T squared, very bright, plus 0.67 meters. And then you're done. Yes. That has to be that way because otherwise, if I say plugged in two seconds, but didn't square that, I wouldn't cancel this second squared out, and I wouldn't get meters for my x on the left hand. If you have to plug in the right, you have to get your squared on that t, the units cancel out. The other thing, this now, and this is kind of the, the, the crazy part, is this equation we made is actually the equation of that curve. Okay, and, that's, and that's the whole point, is that by, make, by doing this linearization, by doing this essentially a unit conversion process, the graph the straight line version, we're actually creating an equation that describes this curve, which is the whole point we wanted in the first place. Okay, and then the other benefit here is we can actually find the area under this line if we wanted to, whereas unless you know your calculus, you can't really find the area under a curved line. Do you have a question or are you just raising your hand and enjoy the <laughs> No. Uh, I have a question, but I didn't answer it. Great. That's first thing. Um, anything else? Other questions? Comments, concerns? This is going far too easily. This is a good thing. We're just all yes, understanding but, it. Well, you're that, or you're secretly not understanding it. Okay. You can go look at the seal. I don't know if that means. I can't just sign all the stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Oh. Good. So I think yeah, I'm going to say, you need to, on the piece of paper there, there's three sets of data. I would like you to graph those sets of data on the graph paper you made the, on the way in. Determine how you're going to linearize those sets of data, data and then graph them in a linear way, and then come up with an equation for each one. You take that first set of data. Now I would, I would take the graph paper, I'd pull it in like this. Like you don't need to use, I don't care how much you use, like you can just use like this quarter to graph the curve, this quarter to graph the linear part, and you have room to use all three. <coughs> but you're going to graph the curve on the paper there, figure out how you're going to make it linear, and then do your math in your paper, and then graph the straight line version, hopefully. So if the first one's curved upwards, you're going to square the x variable, then re graph it, whatever was x squared, and find the equation. I don't care if you do the, like, if you want to like, plot it in your couch to get the shape, then sketch it on your paper, or if you <coughs> plot it, just point out like care what you do. Some kids last period or first period wanted to plot it in their calculator to see the shape, I don't really care. You don't, you don't need to be a super perfect graph, if you just try to get near the right spot, try to see what shape it is. Okay? That's what you can do. Don't worry about graphing it on the computer, it says on the bottom of the paper, just do this for tonight. Is this what we're doing for yeah, why? Do you want more? Because <laughs> 12, 16, 40. I mean, yeah, you should be able to finish it. I would hope. <laughs>